Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla. We watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Daytona Birdit XCR boot available at Revzilla.com. Oh, Daytona, you're building things that are more universally appealing. We know Daytona, they're handmade, they're from Bavaria, all they do is the highest end touring boots in the world. This is the new Burdit, and the new Burdit's coming in the mid 300 range, a little bit more attainable from a price, but here's how they've designed it. Full height, four season touring, and it gets the XCR, which means it's Gore-Tex, but it's the highest degree of breathability. So waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life, meant to stick it to mother nature, but here's the beauty of true four season commuting and touring. Notice the Nubuck perforated panel on the side over top of the Gore-Tex membrane that is XCR. Your foot is going to sweat. You're going to wear this all summer long and you have the best chance of that sweat to evaporate out through the Gore-Tex liner, through the perforation, through the lightest weight and more breathable XCR liner. That is how they've designed this. It's a hair lighter weight. Now when I think about the functionality and the technicality aspect of it, I think about the Daytona M-Star or the Roadstar, which play at about $100 more. They're over in that four to $500 range. They use some more premium materials. Some of the creature comforts get an upgrade and they're actually using beefier leather and a beefier sole. But I will tell you that in the three to $400 range for the Burdit, you're looking at four season. You're looking at more what I would consider a commuter or a sport tour style sole, not adventure touring, I give it about a four and a half to five on the stiff scale where I give more of the Daytona from or the Daytona Roadstar more of that six and a half to seven. So what that means is off the bike, you could walk around in this boot basically all day. You're going to be more comfortable. It's a little bit more versatile. The other thing I absolutely love about it, why I consider it a great commuter boot is the entry and exit is very, very simple. Quick Velcro, one strap, Cinching it down along the instep, it's just going to work and it's going to give you that a degree of flexibility. Now, quick note on sizing. It fits a full size big. This is my gripe with a size chart. If you look at the size chart and you look at a 45, it's going to say it's 11 and a half American. Nope, this boot's going to fit 12 and a half. The new Daytona boots that we've seen are fitting about a size large. So individually, use a size chart and go down a size. That will be your correct sizing. And remember, if you have a high arch, it'll work great. If you have a bit of a wider foot, it's going to fit great. And we already talked about the flexibility in the sole as it comes together as it really fits and performs, you can stitch it down. But again, when you just think about the general length and width, it's going to fit a full size big compared to what the size chart tells you. Make sure you take that into, into consideration. We'll ship for free over 38 bucks. And I love you. Click our logo, subscribe to Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Burdit. Now, I will tell you, I don't know what a Burdit is. If you look at an Urban Dictionary, it tells you that it's a man that took too much Adderall and that's all out of control. That's really interesting. I guess I am a Burdit. But if we dive in here, it's greased cowhide. It's not as bomb proof as the Daytona Roadstar, but it's still premium and it's hydrophobic. You have your Gore-Tex liner underneath and look at how they've done the toe here. You have your TPU shift panel here. You have your new bucks, your new buck style leather that's perfed along the side. And we already talked about the fact it's full grain leather, no synthetics here as you work your way in with the cinching. Now, as we move up, CE rated, great protection. Toe, you do have ankle cups and you're going to have heel protection there as well with a pop of reflectivity. And if we look towards the inside, it's a smooth, clean line. Now, I do have one other gripe on this boot. And if you look at it head on, you're really gonna see it. The fact that this is a commuter style boot meant to be worn multi-season riding under a pair of motorcycle pants. So if we look at it, that means that your shin protector is actually going to be a hair big. You can see how it sits here on the side. It's just gonna, you have to fuss with it a little bit when you're getting your pan over. If it was a little more streamlined, I still like to have the TPU on the front of the boot, but if it was a little bit more streamlined, it would tie everything together. It would make it a little bit more usable. Now, if we move our way around to the back of the boot, you're going to see our pull. You're going to see our mesh material along the backside. And if we open it up, there's our Gore-Tex liner. Comes all the way up to the top, stops right there. Notice waterproof breathability. You have the Gore-Tex components that wick very nicely away from your foot. And if we look at the bottom of the boot, this is a sportier, more touring style sole than their more adventure style sole on the Daytona Roadstar. And what we're gonna have again is that flex, high or it's gonna be a multitude of durometers. It's gonna be high grip, again, really designed thoughtfully. So it's gonna work in a multitude of situations. Let me pull this bad boy back together. So all in, what have you heard? You've heard that your four season, it's going to work tremendously well with this perforated panel on the XCR liner over the summer. But again, sticking it to mother nature, she cannot get your foot wet other than the sweat you generate yourself. And again, you're coming in under the $400 range, so it's a little bit more attainable. Next step in your journey is click the info button, your desktop, the mobile device, visit the product detail page at revzilla.com for the Daytona Burdit. 
Read other rider reviews. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 38 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revsolo.com or 877 9455 Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion on the latest and greatest in the motorcycle realm. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.